Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current, current subscriber, welcome back. Make yourself at home. This week, we'll be going over some eBay, Amazon, mail that I've acquired over the past couple weeks, couple months, as well as my latest Hamilton book delivery. But before I get into that, I'm just one of these crazy type of people that actually likes to watch movies, not just on physical media, which I love collecting also, streaming. The first movie that I watched this week, well, it's actually not a movie, it's a television show on Hulu called Freakish, came out on Hulu in 2016. It takes place in a high school and there's a chemical explosion. And I don't give spoilers on my channel, so I won't get into a lot of detail, but it's a common theme. The series only lasts two seasons. The first season, I can't really name anybody that I recognize. However, in the second season, there is a person in there that was actually in the television show Black Lightning. So if you like mid-level type of sci-fi, or, again, I'm not going to spoil the the, uh, the theme of the show. But if you like that kind of fast-paced horror, because each episode is only about 29 minutes. So it goes pretty quickly, especially the first season. I actually watched both seasons over the weekend. Definitely check out Hulu's Freakish. I think, it, I think you'll like that. Actually, 3D picks. I actually put on my 3D glasses this weekend and watched a couple 3D movies. The first one is Zombie Apocalypse, starring Ving Rhames and this very, very lovely chocolate sister. Don't know her name. It's an asylum film, so it's pretty much low budget horror zombie. The 3D, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a five. It was just okay, but it was a pretty decent, clear picture. I believe this was played on the Sci-Fi channel. And the way they have it set up, it looked like it looks like it was designed to be a television series where it ended. And I don't know if this is something that they're going to pursue later on or if it just died, though. But Zombie Apocalypse, it was a, a fun 3D, low-budget movie. So if you're a 3D fan, go check it out if you can. Zombie Apocalypse. The movie I checked out this weekend was Luc Besson's Warrior's Gate. This, to my knowledge, didn't have a U.S. release. I believe it was released overseas in Asia. Very common theme. If you've seen the movie Forbidden Kingdom or Evolution, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Evolution, pretty much same premise, except in 3D. A lot of action, pretty decent movie. A little surprised didn't get a US, US release. The 3D didn't have a lot of pop out, so but very, very distinct, very, very vivid pictures, a lot of nice reds, and it, it had that epic, Asian martial arts kind of feel to it. But it was a fun movie, nice family film. Wasn't any new type of, of, of plot, but it was a fun movie to watch and good to watch another 3D movie that I haven't seen. Warrior's Gate by Luc Besson. It is off the Disney Channel. It wasn't my first pick, but my wife actually wanted to see it. So I'm like, sure, we'll watch Cruella based on the 101 Dalmatians cartoon. Never a really huge fan of the cartoon. I, I liked it, just never really blew me away. So, Cruella DeVille having a movie about her really didn't really pique my interest. After watching it though, definitely a good watch. Emma Stone, never would have thought casting her as Cruella DeVille, I would have probably thought someone like, um, the chick who played in Fatal Attraction, Glenn Close, someone a little bit older. But of course, she's playing a young, a young Cruella DeVille, so of course they'll get someone younger. I think Emma Stone did a great job. They had her nemesis being Emma Thompson, who I actually thought it was um, Juliette Lewis, Jul not Juliette, um, Juliet, Juliet, Julie Andrews. Um, I guess because she's getting up in age, so. But really fun movie, fantastic soundtrack. It took a lot of the best songs from the 70s and 
really kind of highlighted that. <clears throat> Get the opportunity, either on a Disney Channel or physical, uh, physical, physical media, check out Disney's Cruella. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. cave and before I get into Hamilton books even though I have my aka Johnny Blade aka my Wesley Snipes here before I get into that I want to go over I did a quick short on a new mail delivery pickup what I picked up as well as some eBay and Amazon order so Hamilton you see right there we'll start out with a cult classic I saw a trailer on this. I, I believe it was a Dollar Tree video I picked up and it just really, really looked interesting, intriguing. It's a black comedy or dark comedy, however you want to refer it. Dimension Extreme, Teeth, Everyone Rose, Every Rose Has Its Thorns. And there's another movie I can't think of it now. The, the term Vaj Cannon comes to mind when this movie comes up and just based on the trailer and I'll let you kind of come up with your own analysis of that comment. This is the Lionsgate Dimension release. And don't really recognize anyone in here. John Hensley, Jess Wexler, that sounds familiar. He looks familiar. But guaranteed to make you squirm and scream. If it's what I think it is, I'm sure I'm gonna squ squeam a little bit. I haven't watched it yet though. DVD teeth next one I actually had the disc but I didn't have the slip cover back in the day where we had a couple of a couple more used video stores they would sell single DVDs and blu-rays so I want to get the cover of this this is actually a classic waiting for this to come out on blu-ray whether it's Kino or some other boutique label this really needs a blu-ray release in my opinion this is Wild Style, one of the first hip hop movies. It's a Rhino home video release. And you have the nice artwork. You got Fab Five Freddy, Grandmaster Flash, Blondie, aka Deborah Harry. You have the graffiti artist, the break dancing, basically everything that, that encompasses true hip hop, true hip hop. Wild Style. Next, get into a Blu-ray, Seven Swords. This is a film by, I believe it's Sue Hart. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. Big Donnie Yen fan. I started to watch, just wanted to watch something light. I think it was like two hours and 10 minutes. I didn't really have two hours and 10 minutes to watch this, so I haven't watched this yet. I have this on DVD. I believe it's one of those period epic pieces. Um, that some of the Asian directors are known for doing. So looking forward to watching this when I have a, a long, empty afternoon. And it looks like it's based on the tradition of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Once Upon a Time, Once Upon a Time in China, the trilogy, which I plan on getting on Blu-ray also. Seven Swords, and this is Vivendi. This is Vivendi release. The Weinstein Company, ooh. And my 3D pick for the week, Adventure Coral Reef 3D, Under the Sea of Egypt. Haven't watched this yet. What I've noticed though with 3D movies, usually 80% of the time, if it's underwater, they usually, usually do a pretty good job of the 3D effects. So looking forward to watching this, Adventures, 
Adventure Coral Reef. And this is a 3D media release. Is that what it is? That's the only distributor I can see on there. So I guess it's a 3D media release, so that means 3D better be nice. Huh? Now, what I did for my video short, this is a Shout Factory Collector box series. The REC collection. I have, I think, one REC one, maybe REC two, but I've never even watched them. I've had them for years. So this is the collector four disc box set. I love Shell Factory box sets like this. I have a couple more I'll show you before um, the video ends. So it has Rec 1, Rec 2, Rec 3, Genesis, and Rec 4, Apocalypse. And the first one, they're all in Spanish, but the first one is dubbed in English. After that, it's all in Spanish. So I'm going to have to off my Spanish cap and uh, dust off some of my Spanish skills, me, uh, me Espanol. The first one's REC, Experience of Fear. And I actually bought this on the whole set on eBay auction. Hamilton Book had it, but they were all of a sudden they were out of print or out, out, of, out of stock. I think it was selling for about $38. I think I got it just about $40 on eBay auction. Every other place, I think they want like 50 bucks for it. I'm not having that, you know, the ball on the budget. I'm not trying to pay any more than I have to. REC 1, Experience of Fear. Second one, REC 2, Fear Revisited. It's the back side. And I'm... I'm guessing, again, I just know a little about this. This is a zombie film. This will probably be my first Spanish zombie film. I've done the, the Korean zombie films with Train to Busan. So I believe this is my first Spanish zombie films. This is REC 2. Next we have REC 3, Genesis. You may kiss the bride. Yeah, that's a nice little picture of the chainsaw. Special features. And I plan on watching this hopefully all back to back. So maybe by the third movie, my Spanish will kick in and I won't have to read the, I won't have to read the subtitles as much. So it's REC 3. Genesis, and the last one, Welcome on Board, REC 4, Apocalypse. Looks like they have different directors too. James, is that Balaguero? Paco Plaza. Excellent. And beautiful artwork on the back as usual. REC4. And you have the lovely box and very nice solid box. collection and give me a second I'll open this up and we'll see what I got in half for Hamilton books hold on my first Hamilton pickup is Mother's Day from the directors of Saws 2, 3 and 4 our gruesome pleasure I've seen this years ago it's actually a, a red box a red box pickup and 
upgrading to the Blu ray now. Somehow, one of those bootleg Weird Buck movies got into my collection, so. A little upgrade, and it comes with the. With the nothing. Digital copy. I don't see a code. Anywho. Yes. Mother's Day, and this is a. Alliance release. Next, we have Wing Planet 3D. It's a BBC narrated by David Tennant. I don't know who the hell that is. You know, I love my 3D movie, so. I haven't had a chance to pop this in yet, so I haven't had a chance to look at the 3D. But it also came with this very nice slip cover. And I'm sure before I put these back, I'll probably be checking all these out real quick to see how the 3D looks. Winged Planet 3D. Next one, I believe this is a Severin. Yes, a Severin release. Uh, I've seen this years ago. This is an old horror picture with George C. Scott. If I'm not correct, How Did You Die, Joseph? This is a, a Changeling. Not to be confused with the Angela Jolie movie, The Changeling. Two completely different movies. And this is George C. Scott. Yep, George C. Scott. Okay, I still have a few brain cells left in my head. Um, who else is in there? Van Devere, Melvin Douglas. I just remember George C. Scott, though. I haven't seen this in years. It's not scary, scary movie. It's more creepy, creepy, scary. The, Ch- the Changeling in the seventh release. Next, I haven't seen this in years. I have a DVD version of this. This is a, believe, a... Yeah, Steve, right here, the reading is fundamental. A Stephen King classic graveyard shift. I vaguely remember what this is even about. This is an, uh, a screen release. I'm sure once I uh, start reading this a lot, this, watching this a lot, this will come back to me. But I do remember him. He was really big in the 80s. 80s and early 90s. Graveyard shift with the beautiful artwork too next another Scream Factory release I have Pet Cemetery, the original and also the remake but I didn't have Pet Cemetery 2 on Blu-ray I just had that had it on DVD haven't seen this in a while not as good as the first one in my opinion but still a solid horror movie Jeff Furlong, he's the main character in there. And I occasionally see Furlong in low-budget horror movies. It looks a little chunky now. This is actually the original artwork for Pet Cemetery 2, I believe, as it is from the DVD and maybe the VHS. I'm saying VHS, like, yeah, I really remember VHS when it came out. I'm that old. Pet Cemetery 2, Screen Factory release, and I was really geeked because they actually sent me the slip cover. I don't demand a slip cover, you know, but if it comes with it, I'm not gonna turn it down. So I like that. Plus, this gives it a nice little look to it though. The collector's edition, Pet Cemetery 2. And my last pick from Hamilton Books, this is another Screen Factory release. The Poison Ivy Collection. I might have seen the first one, maybe. But I'm pretty sure I haven't seen the other three. And... Uh, Drew Moore. Drew Moore. I know that's Alyssa Milano. I'm not sure who that one is. Drew Barrymore. Sarah Gilbert. Oh, Sarah Gilbert. Uh, Alyssa Milano and Jamie Presley. I've got to know Jamie Presley. I just like Jamie She's actually in a Netflix horror series, Black Summer, I believe. Check that out. Pretty cool horror picture. But you have Poison Ivy 1. 
poison ivy two, three, and four. And of course you have the fantastic artwork on the back. I do remember seeing that cover before for poison ivy. forward to watching Poison Ivy, aka The Origin of Karens, the Poison Ivy collection. And because you know I'm balling on budget, I kind of let you know normally what I pay for these. This is slightly more than what I normally pay for Blu-rays, but with the Changeling and specifically Poison Ivy, Graveyard Shift, and Pet Cemetery, those are all Screen Factories. And Screen Factories, they tend to be a little bit more expensive. You look on eBay or Amazon, the probably the price will still be a little bit higher than this. But these are my pickups, my Hamilton book pickups and my eBay Amazon. Give me a second. I'll put these back in the proper place and let you guys go up on go on your way. Give me just a second. I have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Please like, share, subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Check out my video shorts. I'll be dropping them periodically throughout the week. Everyone, make sure you stay safe. Give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, make the best of your past. Be the worst of your future. Peace.